All right. I've spent the past seven years traveling the world perfecting my craft. You see, I'm something of a magician, inventor, and chocolate maker. So quiet up. Nope, scratch that. Reverse it. Mr. Wonka, I can see you're a man of great ingenuity. What are you doing? I'm making chocolate, of course. How do you like it? Dark, white, nutty, absolutely insane. Many people have come here to sell chocolate. They've all been crushed by the chocolate cartel. You can't get a shop without selling chocolate, and you can't sell chocolate without a shop. No daydreaming. What are we gonna do, Wooly? Huh. Huh? Huh. I bet that be no uh, open The pencil and paper? Uh-huh. I got an idea. Oh, man. I know things haven't been easy for you. They're gonna get better. You promise? I think you better promise. Just That's the most the solemn vow there is. Where do we start? A good chocolate chip, Mr. Brook. Where is this? It's just weird. What's happening? Who wants a chocolate that makes you fly? Let's we'll find out, shall we? Who's for a hover job? <laughs> Nothing to see here. Just a small group of people defying the laws of gravity. Ladies and wow. gentlemen of the gallery gourmet, my name is Willy Wonka. He's good. Too good. Yeah, pretty sure I've gained about 150 pounds in the last two weeks. You could change her life, Mr. Wonka. Change all their lives. It's making me it's smile. Good thing <laughs> yeah. Started with a dream. So you hold on to yours. Mm. Here we go, Mama. Mark my words. This is going to be the greatest chocolate shop the world has ever seen. Oh, they oh, avoid. Funny little man who's been okay. following. I will have you know that I am a perfectly respectable size for an Oompa Loompa. Grant! An Oompa what now? Yeah. Allow me to refresh your memory. Oh, I don't think I want to hear that. Too late. I've started dancing now. Once we've started, okay. we can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like it. Uh, hey, I look, I already know. They gonna hate it. They gonna oh, be like, yeah. it's <laughs> this is not my this is not my it's Willy Wonka. Not my Wonka. Oh man. You know that what? looks great. It looked like it's gonna be good. I, I I don't feel like you could do much worse than the Tim Burton version, the angsty Wonka. Yeah, yeah. With the daddy it. issues. He did <laughs> yeah. It, <laughs> okay, it kind of I think I think with the, the Tim Burton one was supposed to be trying to be more um more like the the book. It was similar, yeah. Like now, the, I think, then, well, I outside of the, the Oompa Loompas was black. The, so. Yeah, I think outside of the part where yeah, the, the Oompa Loompas were supposed to have come from like a little, they're almost like African pygmies or something like that. Yes, it was like, yes. oh, that's yes, not gonna go yes. over well. We can't that's do not that. Going over well. <laughs> <laughs> and um, especially with the people who felt like it was undertones of a uh, slave labor, and it's like it was. Mm -hmm. It was they were no, they no feel about it. They were slaves. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to give it a pass, though. We <laughs> was kings. <laughs> we was kings. I mean, because I always look at it like, so here's a question I will ask. Is it possible to not really replace, but can you see someone equivalent to a Gene Wilder as Willy Wonka? Gene Wilder put his stank all over the Wonka movie. And that and it being that it was so long in between, you know what I'm saying, that movie and then like something else coming from that from that that franchise or whatever. No, mm -hmm. he is. It's just like if they had the Batman movie, like the 80 with the 89 Batman movie or whatever. Yeah. And then we just now get in a Batman movie in 2023. Nobody will be able to beat that. Yeah. He didn't yeah. shake that because it would just be it would just be that OG Batman. So like then he because it was like, if you look at well, as a child, you looked at the Wonka movie as like the Willy Wonka movie as like Gene Wilder being have the kindest eyes and mm -hmm. just being like a very beloved character. Then when as you get older, you saw the darkness behind Willy oh, Wonka man. character. First of all, uh, <laughs> Willy Wonka's factory was a hellscape. Like that's like, whoa, it's like a madhouse, horrifying <laughs> human being, bro. 
And that the, the most horrifying part of that movie was still kind of scary to me as a kid, but I didn't register it correctly when they was on that boat ride. And yeah, and hey, you seen like the headless chicken or something like that. Like, and he was just so he was just like, and the speeders came spinning, and he was like, Yo, he was scoped out of his mind. And they all this the, the in the new one, it kind of kind of like okay, he's a he's a a, a carefree character, but yeah. he basically got these people's on hallucinogens or something like that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're freaking yeah. <laughs> floating in the air and all this hey, like hey, hey, maybe the story of Willy Wonka in this is how he kept real cocaine in in the uh he, or like put like cocaine in he <laughs> left the coke in the Coca-Cola. <laughs> he didn't take it out. So all this we just assumed that's what was happening. They're not really but, but the, the, the whole movie with Willy Wonka is, is basically everybody who came into the, the chocolate factory is laying yeah. on the floor unconscious, full of drugs. They were yeah. all high as heck on hallucinogens from the chocolate, yeah. the mushrooms, it's everything magic mushrooms. Yeah. It was all only magic. one Oompa Loompa. It was just one little dude. <laughs> <laughs> he worked his one little guy. <laughs> it was like his his little brother or something, and they were yeah. just imagining him there. some dude named Otis, some dude named Otis that worked there. He was like, "Ooh, yeah. he just, yeah. he just he like got to work in the <laughs> I know people gonna be like you said, people gonna be mad at the movie, of or, yeah. or just the character because like it's just fun to be mad at mm. stuff like this. Of course, and it's all they don't want. They don't want good things. No, and and the thing is, is people are gonna. I feel like they're gonna say, "Oh, it's why it, it's, it's so stupid to even put it out." Oh, there's a little black kid. This is woke now. It's like what? Wait. Oh, that's huh? what, absolutely. <laughs> that's why. First, I was like, "Yo, please don't let this little girl be the oompa loompa," because then we just got. Oh God, if they would have did, I'd be like, "Come on, man." We got Come on. <laughs> but then having her just be in the movie, just having black people in this world, and they're not <laughs> slaves. Automatically woke. Oh, hey, that's automatic woke now. Why? <laughs> Good question. Just, because we're existing, existing. Yeah. Uh, the woke virus, or whatever. So I mean, but uh, they're gonna take. They're gonna try to take the movie. I, I'm gonna watch it. I hope it's. I hope it does fine. It looks good to me. It, I don't really see any immediate CGI. Looks great. Um, Hugh Grant at the end is the Oompa Loompa. Fire, even though he's in a glass cage. Yeah, that's no. I like, don't know why that just, that that just feel like it fit, like yeah, the voice yeah. and everything is like oh, okay. it's perfect. Gotta, and yeah. and it has he had the, this Oompa Loompa has some agency, you know. <laughs> so where okay. he's like, maybe they gonna make it seem like he chose the work. They they chose the work there, opposed to being carted off by Willy Wonka. You know what I'm saying? Maybe they just want to be there. So hope that'd be better. It's yeah. a better sell. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and move into the topics. We're going to go ahead and go into going or not going. All right. So going and not going. And we're going to start it off with the um, the recent news of the Black 